everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I've been enjoying this summer. So the first thing, since it's Florida and it's hot and really sunny, it's my Neutrogena sunscreen. Um, it's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen in SPF 30. And I use this um, only on my face. Uh, I'll use something less expensive on the rest of my body, but that I enjoy wearing because you put it on and it dries nicely. It's not leaving you greasy or sticky and then you can just put your makeup over it and you just can't tell that you slathered sunscreen on. So it's really nice and I like it and it protects me from the sun, which is good. Um, the next thing as far as like heat goes would be my Urban Decay Dislick. Um, I really like this. I mean, it's been like 100 degrees here, so I spray this on, my makeup stays, and I usually have D-zone problems, and um, yeah, it's still by the end of the day, my makeup looks good. Um, I don't have an oil slick going on on my face. Um, I will say, I can still kind of feel it, like by the end of the day, like I will feel like I'm greasy and I'll look at my face and it doesn't look like I'm greasy but to me I will, I'll have that sensation but um, that's usually by the end of the day and if I don't look greasy then I will live with the feeling a little bit greasy <laughs> so as long as nobody else knows we're good um, let's see the next thing for that uh, for summer my e.l.f. smudge pot. I did a video on these. This is the one that's called Cruisin' Chick or Cruisin' Chic. I haven't figured that out yet. But looks like that. And it's a Maybelline color tattoo bad to the bronze dupe. thing I love about these is that they go on and they just stay. They're not going to sweat off your face. I think you can go swimming with this. It's not coming off. So, if you're stuck in an accidental rainstorm, you're fine. You look good. I don't know about the rest of you, but, you know, your, your eyelids will look nice. So, I love those things. Um, let's see. Next thing. Um, so, I have this obsession with coconut smells, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I have a couple things it, and I have a couple more but these are just the ones I'm sharing but um, the first one is this coconut vanilla lotion from Bath and Body Works and um, I don't think they sell this in the stores I picked this up when it was I think in the very beginning of January I wanted to pick up some of the the Christmas scents that were left over from you know, the holidays, and um, mine, my Bath and Body Works was kind of sold out, so I, I looked online, and I purchased a bunch of the old ones on sale, like the limited edition holiday ones, but I was also looking at the other scents they had, and I found that, and from their signature vanilla collection, so um, I'd never seen it before, and it said it was exclusive online, so I don't know if it'll eventually make its way into the stores, but, um, so yeah, I decided I would pick it up, and now I've just been using it a lot, because I really like the coconut smell, and I think it's nice for summer. And the other thing is, this is called Coconut Passion from Victoria's Secret, it's just a body spray, it says vanilla and coconut, but it has, I don't know, there's something else going on in here, and maybe from the packaging it's probably some kind of floral scent so there's a little bit of floral scent in with the coconut which I'm not as well about but um, I still like it and it's nice I use the lotion spray this over it it gives this nice I don't know pina colada smell <laughs> no I don't I really don't smell like a pina colada but it's a nice light scent so it's not overpowering uh, let's see, moving on, um, I have this nail polish, it's, I don't know, like a cantaloupe 
color, like a pale cantaloupe color. I like it. It's from Sinful Colors and it's called Hazard. And yeah, I think this was just like on an end cap at Target when I was walking by with my girls and they needed to buy some nail polish. And so I picked this one up for myself because I thought it was nice and, you know, kind of summery. And yeah, I've been getting some use out of this. I really like it. Although. I did have somebody tell me that it was very distracting on my fingernails. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I don't know. I, is that distracting? I have no idea. But I like it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, let's see. As far as some, some makeup goes. Um, next butter gloss. I have tiramisu. And what is this called? Angel Food Cake. Um, and they're very similar in color. I keep one in my purse, one by my sink. I don't know. It's just really easy to just put them on. I like the colors. They're kind of more neutral. Sometimes I wear them over lipstick. Sometimes I just wear them as is. But it's really nice and light and they're not sticky and goopy and stuff like that. So it's nice and light gloss. Add some color. And it's quick. I like it. Good for the summer. Um, let's see. The next thing I've been doing is, well, I talked about this thing. The e.l.f. lip exfoliator that I love. It's awesome. It smells like brown sugar and like cookie dough. I don't know. It's good. But it's, you can see it's a little, it's a little rough. And I don't know. It's like coarse sugar. But yeah, just rub that over your lips and gets off all the dead stuff. Leaves your lips really soft. So nice. And then I've been following up with this. Um, it's called Fat Mama's Feed My Lips Whipped Balm. And it's in this just little container. And it smells kind of fruity. It's like kind of fruity, but there's something else going on. I don't know what it is. So, um, and it just looks like a oh, lip balm. And it's really, really thick, and you just need like a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And, um, yeah, it's really nice and hydrating, especially after doing the lip exfoliator. So, um, I like this a lot. I'll have to look up where you can actually get this. I got this at the pediatrician's office. Um, our pediatrician sells some different things like herbal remedies and stuff like that and they actually have some Chinese medicine and then they had this. So it's like well I'll try it out and it works pretty good. Um, let's see moving on these are everywhere I mean everybody makes their own version. This is just what are they? These are the Up and Up brand from Target, which I will say, and it's supposed to be, compa uh, be comparable to Pond's Clean Sweep. I will say, I used the, I had purchased the Simple Cleansing Wipes before, which I would probably go back to. These were on sale. These have a weird smell. Okay, that was, that was lightning. So, <laughs> if you could hear that and see the dimming, that, that was lightning. Okay, moving on. Okay, now my dog's here because he's a little concerned. Um, I was saying that the Simple Cleansing Wipes, I had purchased those before. I'd probably go back to the, This has a bit of a scent to it, and I don't use these. These are actually for my girls. I mean, it's summer, and they're getting sweaty, and... Even if they take a shower, I don't know how well they're getting their face. So, um, especially because they're like, ah, water in my face or in my eyes. So, I make them wipe their faces at night to at least get their faces clean. And, um, yeah, so these are like the best thing because they don't have to try to do soap and water and getting soap in their eyes. So, they really, really like them. So, I highly recommend those for children. Um, I don't use them because I pretty much use my 
Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm and that just takes off all my makeup and everything so um, I don't really have the need for this anymore but yeah my girls they love it and it helps their skin to stay cleaner and better they were getting like little bumps around here and stuff. probably like they have to have sunscreen on and everything so yep works great for kids um, moving on to non beauty related stuff um, my my book of this last month it's fun it's called the candy makers this is a kids book it's a pretty hefty kids book um, my daughter had read this last year and she said that it was like one of her favorite books and um, I think when we read it she had gotten a copy from the library she actually wanted her own copy so um, I decided it's like well, it would kind of be nice to know what my child's reading but um, but she loved it so much so I decided I would read it too and it's I think like was it 400 like 450 pages and that's I mean, it's pretty big. It's like it's a, an elementary school book. Um, she was in third grade when she read it, so it might be a little. I don't know. She really likes to read, so it might be something maybe like a fourth or fifth grader read. But um, yeah, it was very cute, very age appropriate, um, which is always my concern, especially with my daughter. She's a really good reader, but I also have to keep in mind that you. Know, <laughs> she's only in fourth grade and even though she can read like really big like bigger books they're not necessarily for that age so that was perfect candy makers recommend it for I guess the upper elementary you know third through fifth grade so pretty good <laughs> as far as me I got 365 vegan smoothies I'm not vegan but I love this book. It's awesome. I mean, they even, like this one has, that's some kind of coffee bean one. That's interesting. I mean, even like the pictures, they just, can you see? They just look so good. But um, I really like this. Sometimes I have problems with cold dairy, like really cold dairy. Like ice cream, it will make me cough and stuff. So I figured this would be great. Um, the recipes are really good and they add a lot of nutritional things in them. So you're getting a nutrition boost. It kind of goes along with this thing that I bought. I bought a Blendtec blender uh, because I started making these smoothies for the family and I realized I really needed a high speed blender. So that thing is awesome. That will ground up anything um, in no time. It's amazing. So that paired with this is awesome we've been like, really healthy which is good so trying to get more fruits and vegetables into my family and it's a perfect way okay and lastly would be my geeky game pick um, we enjoy as a family playing board games and we recently got this game called ladies and gentlemen and it's for four to four to ten players which is great that you could have that many players but um, and it really it says the age is age 14 plus um, we play this with our kids they're seven and nine they get it fine basically you're on teams and you're like a husband and wife and I don't it's kind of weird to explain it like on the guy side of the table they're on one side and they're doing like kind of getting commodities and selling things and trying to make contracts to make money and then the girls are on the other side the ladies um, shopping and trying to get dresses and jewelry and stuff because the goal is to have the nicest dressed wife at the end of the game so um, it sounds very weird it's um, and it even seems complicated at the beginning but once you play it it's kind of simple the neat thing is that both sides are totally different. It's like a totally different game playing the men's side and playing the women's side. So, um, yeah, we really like it. Um, my husband insists on doing a British accent for the entire length of the game, which my girls enjoy, except for 
sometimes one of them will say, do we have to do the accents? <laughs> so it adds to the fun. But we have also had um, relatives of mine come over and play this, and we had a great time. And um, yeah, when you see a grown man on the lady's side saying, let's go shopping, shopping, it's kind of crazy. So it's a good time. Um, if you're into board games, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's fun. It, it's neat, and it's like getting two games to the price of one. Like I said, the lady's side is totally different than playing the men's side. So um, that's pretty much it for my favorites of summer. Um, I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye!